Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how you can access the application portal of Leiden University after you have applied for a program in StudyLink. I will also show you where and how to upload the documents you need and how to submit your application. After you have applied for our program in StudyLink, you will receive a confirmation email from the university. The email message will link you to the university's application portal called USIS and asks you to activate your Leiden University account or ULCN as it's called. In order to activate your account, you will have to provide your username, date of birth, and create a temporary password. Your username for Leiden University is your seven-digit student number with a lowercase s in front of it. You received your student number earlier in the confirmation email after submitting your application in study link. Now, log in with your ULCN username and self-created password and you will be sent to the application portal. In this overview, you can see the status of your application, all official communication letters that you received from Leiden University, and a handy overview with quick links. But you won't need the latter for some time. Go to Application Study Program to check your application. Select the application that you want to view, and if you have made multiple applications to Leiden University, you will see them here too. Here, you'll see all the parts that need to be completed for the application. First, you'll be asked to submit some personal details. You can see that these correspond to the details that you have filled out in StudyLink. However, we also kindly ask you to fill out the Emergency Contact Details section. Once you've filled out these boxes, make sure to click on Submit so you can go to the next part. Next is the major part of the application. In this overview, you will see all of the documents that are required in order to finish your application. Go to our website to see an overview of all of the required documents. The application portal already lists several documents you need to upload, and you can ad add additional documents by clicking on the plus sign. Under this section, you will be asked to fill out information about your previous education. Here, you can upload official transcripts following the instructions on the LUC website. If applicable, include proof of your mathematics proficiency. This can be a transcript with the most recent mathematics grade or a mathematics test that is mentioned in the LUC requirements. Moreover, you can also include a diploma statement for which you can use the LUC format or if your school has its own format, use theirs. If you attended more schools throughout your high school period or if you're already attending university, you can add additional information by clicking here. Under this section, you can upload any English language test that is accepted by the university. If you have not made an English test yet, you can skip this section for now. Under this section, you'll upload all your required documents that are part of the LUC selection process. These include a filled out LUC form under the section LUC form and CV. You do not have to provide your own CV. A filled out LUC motivation form under the section motivation letter and proof of that 50 euro application fee payment under new section, unless you qualify for exemption as stated on the LUC website. When uploading documents, please make sure to follow the instructions mentioned on the website and read these documents closely. All documents must be filled out in English and also make sure to upload your documents in PDF format. No other format can be used. After you've uploaded all required documents, you can submit your application. If an item is not filled out yet, you will not be allowed to submit your application and the application documents. Please note that it will not be possible to change any of the uploads after you have submitted your application in the portal. And make sure to check everything before submitting. The admissions office of LUC will update you on the status of your application, so make sure to keep a close eye on your email. Hopefully, this video gave you a clear overview of how to submit your application. In case you are still unsure about something, do not hesitate to contact the admissions office with your questions. Good luck!